today I'm going to talk about weight training. If you like to work out or go to a gym in NTU, you will find that weight training become more and more popular. Even people who play basketball or volleyball or some different sports, they will also work out to help improve their performance. So I want to introduce my favorite exercise to you. And I'm not going to tell you how to lift the dumbbell or how many steps you need to do. But I want to classify four common myths about weight training, or you can call it workout. The first myth is that weight training, weight training makes women bulky. Uh, it means that women are always afraid of leaving little weights because they don't want to be like a man or gaining too much muscle on their body like the like the women on the left. Uh, but actually, due to the fact that uh, women do not and cannot naturally produce as much male hormones as men do, it is impossible for women to gain huge amount of muscle mass on their body so, the image that may come to your mind is that of professional female bodybuilder. Most of them will use drugs to achieve that high degree of muscularity. So, they also have good genetic and great talents with an unbelievable work to gain muscle like that. So, believe me, women who conduct weight training will get firm and fit body like the girls, ladies on the left, right. And the second myth is that weight training can turn fat to muscle. So some people who want to be stronger may start eat a lot or persuade themselves into gaining many weight first before they start to work out. But actually, it is the equivalent of saying that you can turn any metal into gold, but you and I know it is impossible. Um, there are totally different types of tissue. So, you will be like a fat kid here and never become Hugh Jackman. <laughs> okay, so, the only way the body transformation occurs is by gaining muscle through weight training and losing fat through diet at the same time. Okay, the third myth is that spot reduction never happens. It means that you cannot lose fat on the body part you want. For example, like some girls. Some of them will leave their leg or doing air cycling on the back to make their face lean. But actually, you won't lose any fat on your leg. Or like men, who want to build six packs like C. Ronaldo here. So they start doing lots of crunch and want to have a perfect abdominal, ab abdominal muscle. But, actual, but the fact is, uh, it never worked. It is decided. Uh, you cannot decide where to lose your fat. So, someone may start from their fat, but others may lose their fat on their belly, their legs, or their chest first, and it's all in your gym. So please, don't do crunch anymore. Do some whole body weight training. It can help you burn more energy and lose more fat. And the fourth myth is that running is a superior to weight training for fat loss. And when you want to lose your fat, the first exercise come to everyone's mind is running. But actually, if you only concentrate on running, you will both of your muscle and fat will be burned for fuel. It means that you will also lose your muscle too. To the contrary, weight training produces significant fat burning ability. Also, weight training is a superior method of increasing muscle mass. So you can increase the number of calories you burn at rest and during exercise when you do work tra weight training. And it is more efficient and easier than running. Okay, so in conclusion, uh, today I classify four common myths about weight training. If you want to lose weight, just work out. And if you want to gain muscle, just work out. And if you want to be slender and a good body looking, workout is the top choice for you. And it can make you stronger, healthier, and be more confident. Thank you. Yeah.